hey guys yeah, welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be cutting and sewing this gathered corset dress that you can see on your screen so i used four years of this fabric to achieve this style i don't know what this fabric is called but it's kind of light it's lightweight and it's shiny so without further ado let's jump right into the video So I'll be cutting the down part of the dress first and as you can see on the thumbnail the down part of the dress is gathered but I don't just want to cut out a straight fabric to gather so I want to cut out um, this fabric in form of a flare okay so this is how I folded my fabric I just folded it like this okay to cut out like a flare okay that's how I'm going to cut it out and then I'll gather it to the waistline of my dress so after folding my fabric guys I'm going to go down from the pointy edge of this fabric by 30 inches 30 inches is the waist measurement i'm working with by the way so i'm marking 30 inches all the way as you can see me doing okay and my fabric is folded into two so i'm going to place my tape all around like this and i'll mark 30 inches this is how we cut out our flare okay so i'll connect all the dots after doing that i'll cut it out okay so guys the next thing is to determine the length of my the down part of my dress so to do that go ahead and take out your half length first of all and then mark whatever you have left so as you can see me doing i'm marking 28 inches from that waistline okay so i marked 28 inches all the way around so make sure your tape is sitting directly on the waistline that's the part that you just cut out i mark 28 inches all the way around like this and i'll connect after connecting you can see the length of my dress is about 43 inches okay because i took up 16 inches which is my half length after doing that i'm going to cut this part out okay so guys after cutting this is what i have so it depends on how full you want the um down part of your dress to be so i'm going to place this one on another fabric i've gone ahead to fold my fabric exactly how i folded the first one I'm going to place this one on it okay so the waist area i didn't use any radius to calculate it i'm just doing this randomly because i want that waist area to be wide enough for me to have my full gathers okay so i'm going to place them like this just like i did before and i'm going to trim out what i have on the waistline and what i have on the length of the flay after doing that i have two of these so if you want the down part of your dress to be really full you can cut out three or four of these depending on how you want your dress to be so like i mentioned earlier i'm using four yards of this fabric so i'm managing my fabric after cutting out guys this is what i have so i'll measure what i have on the waist area which is about 24 inches on each of this fabric so i have 24 inches times four because this fabric is folded into four okay so after doing that i'll keep that aside and work on the upper bodies okay so i'll be using my ready-made bra cup for this tutorial okay so what i'll do is to first of all take my dart because i don't want this cup to come out flat by the time i'm done sewing so the trick i use is to take half an inch for the dart on this upper part of the cup so i folded my cup into two i'm going to mark half an inch as you can see and for the length of the dart i'll go down by about three inches okay and i'm going to connect from that half an inch to meet the three inches after doing that i'll head over to my sewing machine and i'll just take out the dart so once you take your dart on your bra cup it's not going to gape on the upper part and you can see that the roundness of the cup is going to come out so when you sew your cup is not going to come out flat as you can see already so the next now is to place my tape like this as you can see me doing and i'll mark my under bust line which is exactly where the cup is sitting my under bust line is 13 inches the waistline i'm working with is 16 inches i added one inch to it for my stitching allowance making it 17 inches okay so i'll take out the cup and i'll rule straight lines across all these points so i'll figure out where the point is from this my guideline so i've got to mention that the line that i have on this upper part of my pattern paper is my guideline that is where i'm going to start taking my measurements from 
the next thing i'll do is to go in on this center form by half an inch this half an inch is that middle part of the corset that you can see so once i open it up i'm going to have about one inch on the center of my um corset okay so i indicated the half an inch with a dot i'm going to mark the same half an inch on my under bust line okay and i'll repeat the same thing on the waistline and i'll connect the three dots into a straight line after doing that guys i'm going to bring in my cup and i'm going to place my cup after this half an inch okay so when placing your cup make sure the cup is sitting on this half an inch first of all that is on this straight line and then it's not extending um from your guideline that is if you have a guideline okay but whatever you do the cup should sit on this center front and it should also touch your guideline and the under bust should be sitting on the under bust line and then go ahead and trace out the shape that you have on the cup make sure you're not pressing the cup down so it does not come out flat okay so after tracing out what i have on the cup this is what i have i'll remove the cup and i'll go ahead and start placing my measurements on this bust line which is the start of my pattern paper i'll place my bust circumference divided by four and i'll add two inches for my stitching allowance on the waistline i'll place my waist circumference divided by four and i'll add two inches for my stitching allowance so as you can tell already this corset does not have a dart this is the easiest corset to draft and sew so i'm going to connect from my bust line to meet the waistline like this after doing that guys i'm going to add stitching allowance all around this bra cup area this stitching allowance is what i'll use to stitch the cup back to um this cup area so i'm taking half an inch all the way around as you can see me doing after doing that guys i'll go ahead and cut so i'm not cutting out this cup area because i want to use this pattern to cut the back pattern so what i'll do is to bring my fresh pattern paper if you want to add a zipper to your corset then go ahead and mark your zipper allowance first of all before placing the front okay but i'm not adding a zipper to mine i'm adding eyelets so i'm still going to reduce what i have so what i'll do is to just trace around this pattern paper so as you can see i have two of them one is going to be for the front and that of the back and this is obviously for the back so i'm going to label it my back pattern okay so after doing that guys next thing i'm going to do is to reduce this back pattern like i mentioned earlier i'll be um, adding eyelet to the back okay meaning i will have to reduce it to be able to tie it so i don't want it to be too open so i'll be going out by 1.5 inches so it depends on how open you want the back of your dress to be so i'm taking out 1.5 inches from my back pattern paper i hope you understand if you're adding a zipper there's no need to do um this all you have to do is to add your zipper allowance so i'll cut this part out you can see that my pattern paper is looking the same so i'm just going to label the up and the down so i don't get confused after doing that i'll cut out this cup area and i'm going to fold my fabric into two and i'll place my pattern on it as you can see the um, center front is on fold so i'm going to add half an inch on this um point i also add half an inch on the other side i already have my half an inch stitching allowance on the cup area so i'm not going to add that on the base i already have my stitching allowance so i'm not adding any allowance to the base okay so i'm going to cut out like this after cutting this is what i have i'm going to place this on another fabric and i'll cut out my lining because i'm using this fabric as my lining i'll just trace out what i have like this and for the back also i'll place my fabric and i'll cut out four pieces two for the main um piece and two for the lining piece i've gone ahead to cut and this is what i have guys the next thing i'll do is to cut out the fabric that i'll be using to cover the cup to do that i'm going to first of all fold this fabric into two like this and then i'll fold it into four like this okay so i'm going to cut it out in form of a flay so what i'll do is to place my tape on this part that is not open and i'm going to go down by six inches i think six inches should be enough to cover my cup so it depends on how um, big your cup is the size of the bra cup i'm working with is 44 so i'm marking six inches all the way around from this pointed edge after marking i'm going to cut out so once i open it up i have this circle okay so what i'll do now is to split this circle into two on the center to do that i'm going to go down by 1.5 inches from this end 
on the other end i also go down by 1.5 inches i'll indicate the 1.5 inches and then i'll place my tape on this center and i'll find the middle point i'm going to mark the middle point like this so i'll use my ruler to connect from the 1.5 inches on this end to meet the middle and from this end i'll connect from the middle to also meet the 1.5 inches after doing that i'm going to cut out like this okay so after cutting i'm going to use this particular one to cut out um about four other pieces okay because i'll be using them for the lining so i have two here already i'm going to cut out another three sets so that's about six okay so guys after doing that i'm going to iron sd to all my fabric okay so i'm gonna have to do that and this is what i have so i'll arrange them in place okay so for the back i'll place them right side facing right side and also for the front i'm going to open it up for you guys to see okay so this is what i have for the back and this is my front piece i ironed my sd to both the main fabric and the lining so as you can see i used my iron to just iron the center that is the part where i want to create my boning channel i just used my iron to indicate that part so i'm placing the front right side facing right side as you can see what i'll do now is to sew on the center i also sew on this area that you see me touching i'll sew on the side and i'll turn everything out through the base but before sewing on the side i want to add my spaghetti strap so i've gone ahead to cut out this piece of fabric that is about um 1.5 inches wide on fold meaning once i open it up it is three inches i'll sew half an inch so once i turn it over i'm going to be left with one inch and i'm going to place this fabric after the cup area okay remember i have my stitching allowance which is two inches so on the side i'll leave my stitching allowance and on the cup area i'll also leave my stitching allowance to sew my cup in place i repeat the same thing for the back after arranging my back piece in place i'll also cut out another strap because i want this strap to be adjustable so i'm adding different strap to the front and the back and i'm going to stitch the both strap on the shoulder at the end of the day so i've gone ahead to cut out um what i'll be using to cover my bra cup as you can see i have four of them and i place them right side facing right side so what i'll do is to just sew the center and i'll iron in place so i've gone ahead to sew this front piece you can see where i placed my strap i placed it away from my stitching allowance and i placed it away from the cup area so what i'll do now is to create my boning channel so i'm not going to cut another fabric for the boning channel i'm just going to sew on that part that i ironed okay so go ahead and measure the wideness of your boning and you are going to just stitch down let it be wide enough for your boning to pass through you can see i've stitched down the um, strap for the back also i left my stitching allowance on the side my stitching allowance is about two inches so i didn't let the strap get to the stitching allowance okay so i also create my boning channel for the back okay so i've gonna also sew this part of the cup okay and i ironed it in place so go ahead and iron it shallow on that center so it lays flat on the bra cup okay so i have four of them two as my main piece and two as my lining piece what i'm going to do now is to cover my bra cup using this fabric okay so i'm going to place it like this as you can see me doing and i'm going to pin the fabric to the bra cup all the way around okay so just go ahead and pay close attention to how i'm pinning so i'm making sure i have excess fabric on the base and also on the upper part so i'll go ahead and pin all the way around So guys after pinning the bra cup in place i went ahead to sew on the side just on the side all the way around what i'll do now is to cut off the excess fabric okay and on the upper part of the bra cup 
I'll cut out the excess fabric but make sure I have about half an inch there because this half an inch is what I'll use to sew the lining and the main fabric together. So guys, after trimming off the excess fabric, this is what I have. Next thing I'll do is to bring the lining piece and I'm going to place it right sides. I'm facing right side like this. I'm going to pin the upper part and I'll sew just the upper part. I'll turn it inside out. I'll use my hemming gum to just hold the lining and the main fabric down on the inside. And then I'll stitch all the way around. So I've gone ahead to run my boning channel for the back. So I did half an inch, which is how wide my boning is. I left one inch on the center for my eyelet fixing and I did another half an inch, okay? So I didn't create another boning channel using another fabric. I'm placing my boning in between the main fabric and the lining. And this is the boning I'll be using is about half an inch so make sure your boning um, your channel is wide enough for your boning to pass through for the front I did just three um, channel on the center on the two sides of um, the back up area so this is what I have guys so the next thing I'm going to do now is to join both front and back piece together to do that I'm going to place them right side facing right side and I'm going to sew using my 2 inches stitching allowance that I left while I was drafting. So guys, after sewing the bra cup in place, this is what I have. This is what it looks like on the inside. I used my hemming gum to just hold it down on the inside, okay? And I also went ahead to top stitch on the base, okay? Make sure you're not dragging the fabric too much when you're top stitching. So I've joined both front and back piece together and this is what I have. The next now I'll do is to sew my bra cup in place. So all you have to do is to place your bra cup on this part and you're going to sew using the half an inch that we left as our stitching allowance. Just sew all the way around. After sewing guys, this is what I have, okay? Make sure you go ahead and iron all the sides, okay? Just sew everything lace flat. This is what it looks like on the outside and on the inside. For this inside, I'm just going to overlock this part all the way around just so everything looks um, really neat by the time I'm done sewing. So guys, the next thing I'm going to do now is to pass my boning through all this channel, okay? So I will insert my boning in all these channels. My boning is half an inch wide, so this channel is also half an inch wide. So when cutting out your boning, make sure your boning is about half an inch shorter than your half length because this boning is not a sewable boning unless you are using a sewable boning even if you are using a sewable boning i think you should leave half an inch on the base in order to be able to join the upper bodies and the lower bodies freely okay so as you can see me i'm trimming off the excess boning make sure you also conceal the edges of the boning okay just so it does not pop out okay so pass your boning through all the channels after doing that go ahead and iron the boning flat so for the flare part guys i went ahead to join the two flares together and i gathered the waist area now if you want your the down part of your dress to stand to be firm first of all you have to use a thicker fabric secondly you can iron paper stay to it thirdly you can use a crinoline on the base depending on what you want so i'm using a light fabric for this tutorial so obviously it's not going to stand except i iron paper stay to it or i use crinoline for it but this is what the owner of the dress wants so i gathered the waistline of the flay to be the same thing as the waistline of my dress which is the exact waist measurement i'm working with okay so what i'm going to do now is to sew but before i sew i'm going to leave three inches i'm, I'm going to leave three inches on both sides of the flay these three inches i'm not going to gather at all okay so after doing that i'm going to sew using half an inch i've gone ahead to sew the flay to um, the upper bodies and this is what I have. So this is what I was trying to explain earlier. I left three inches Okay, that I did not sew at all three inches here and three inches there Okay, these three inches is what I'll use to replace um, The 1.5 inches that I took out from the back 
and to also complete my waistline and to fix my zipper okay you guys are going to understand what i'm trying to say so the next now is to sew my lining so this is optional but i just want this lining to give it a full effect on the inside so this lining is not flay it's just a straight fabric so i made it as long as possible so what i'll do is to gather it and i'll sew it so go ahead and gather or pleat to the exact waist measurement that you already have here and then sew it in place i'll use it to conceal the side also the side of the dress i'm going to also use the lining to just sew it in place so everything um is neat so the next now is to cut out my bow so i don't have enough fabric mine is going to be really small so as you can see the length of the bow is about 4.5 inches while the wideness is 11 inches also so i went ahead to cut out two pieces so what i'll do is to sew all the way around i'll leave um a small opening that i'll use to turn it inside out for what i'll use to hold the bow in place um the length of this fabric is two inches while the wideness is six inches so i'm going to place them right side facing right side and i'll sew after sewing i'll turn inside out and i'm going to give it a good press so i've gone ahead to sew guys and this is what i have the part that i used to turn it inside out i placed my hemming gum there and i just ironed it flat so every part of this um fabric is concealed so and for this part also i went ahead to sew and i turned it inside out and i ironed in place okay so iron it in a way that your seam the seam where you sew is going to be on the center so what i'll do is to use my needle and thread to just create like to create my bow okay just look at the way i'm doing it i'm just freestyling it so once you get what you want use your needle and thread to just hold it down so i'll do that for this and i'll repeat the same thing for the other bow so guys after arranging the bow in place this is what i have i'm going to use this other fabric to just cover the stitch that i have there i'll sew it in a way that it's not too tight and then i'll turn it inside out so the rough edges is inside okay so i'm going to go ahead and do that so guys i've sewn my lining in place as you can see and you can see that the rough edges of this dress is hidden inside the dress okay that is why i sewed my lining in place okay so you can see the inside now it's really neat okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to iron so i went ahead to iron you can see that i used the lining to just conceal before i forget the length of this lining is about 20 inches so i reduced 8 inches you know the length of my flare was 28 inches so i reduced 8 inches from the length of the flare to cut out my lining piece okay so i'm going to place my fabric right side facing right side like this and i'm going to mark my zipper allowance from that point i'll sew all the way down to the dress length okay after doing that remember i said earlier that i want this strap to be adjustable so i'm going to mark about seven inches while we're drafting it i took out six inches before marking my under bust i guess so since it is adjustable you can just go ahead and wear it if it's not okay then go ahead and adjust it to how you want it okay so i've sewn the down part of the dress in place leaving me with my zipper allowance okay 
so the next thing i'm going to do is to fix my zipper okay i don't have my zipper right now but i'm going to fix my zipper in place and then go ahead and just join the shoulders i've gone ahead to do that and i've trimmed off the excess okay on this joining is where i'm going to place my bow so it's going to cover that joining on the shoulder area but make sure you fit your dress make sure the strap is okay it's comfortable okay after doing that then you can go ahead and fix your bow and that's i'm um, joining okay so guys last thing i'll do is to fix my eyelet to the back of the dress and if you're fixing a loop i forgot to mention you can go ahead and fix your loop to the back if you're adding a zipper go ahead and also add your zipper to the back of your dress after doing that go ahead and either aim your dress or overlock the base of your dress guys for the zipper i'm using one one inch on both sides to fix my zipper on the waist area i'll leave the rest part on the waist area okay so guys that is all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful don't forget to like leave your questions i'll see you.